Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Pisces, a relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple this month. Alright, let's get right to it. I'm going to pull uh, individual energies first. I'm going to pull Scorpio first, of course, because this is a Scorpio channel and this is a Scorpio read. And it's a Pisces read too. Love y'all too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now we're going to focus on Scorpio. We're going to get Scorpio's individual energy. Scorpio, what is going on with you? What is your feelings in this relationship? What are you feeling towards this relationship? What's going on? Oh, okay. Oh, oof. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys feel like there's a relationship that's ended. Something's over. This is a death of something, right? What is dead? Are there going to be any second chances? It looks like there are no second chances. Something you feel like is over. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. I need to grow from this. What's dead is dead. It's almost like this feeling of hopelessness in a sense. Mm, give me... Another one, please. This is this is how you feel like you're not. It feels like you think the relationship is over. It is dead for you. Uh, give me one more for Scorpio, please. Give me more for Scorpio. Um, we have here girl with a snake, charmed or used. I'm not sure if I was used. I feel like Scorpio's question of whether or not Scorpio got used in a situation, right? Um, I feel like for some of you guys, this is enable and boundaries, and this did come out reverse. So I feel like you guys are truly wondering, trying to piece everything together I feel like trying to connect your feelings and when this happened timelines things like that to see what happens was I fold all right give me one more for Scorpio Ooh, okay the golden mirror narcissist love bombing self-absorbed a one-sided relationship. This relationship wasn't about me. This is what Scorpio is feeling. I don't feel like that relationship was about me. As a matter of fact, I feel like this is we have broken up or something like that. All right. Oops. Okay. Um, make sure to turn this over. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Making sure these are. See, you always get that one. Flips up. So let me shuffle these again. Pisces. Pisces. I need your energy, please. Pisces. What is your energy in this relationship, Pisces? Where are you? What's going on? Pisces. Backstabbing. Heartbreak. Pain. Separation. That's what I thought. Deception. Lies. Shock and attack. Backstabbing. I feel like Pisces is also wondering. You know, they're also trying to, like, piece things together. It's kind of like... What was this about for me? What was this whole thing about? I feel like, you know, just like Scorpio here is trying to figure out, was I used in a situation? This relationship is dead. I feel like Scorpio pronounces it dead, right? But then we also have here the girl with the snake. So I feel like there's some confusion. And I feel that same energy here with backstabbing for Pisces. Hmm. Only Pisces, uh, the language is a little bit different. To me, it's a little bit more... We need to look into this with the heartbreak, the separation, the deception, the shocking attack. Something happened that surprised Pisces. Ooh. All right. Grounding, stability, security, performance, growth, and endurance is what I'm thinking about right now. That's what I'm trying to manifest in my life at the moment. Stability, security. Ooh. Something else just fell. Let's see. Oh, abundance. I feel like Pisces, during the separation, you guys could be working, putting in a lot of hours, doing a lot of independent work, something about having a positive mindset. Your mindset is uh, your mindset is about being stable. It's about your own stability. I feel like this is after a breakup. I feel like you guys are manifesting abundance. I feel like some of you guys are uh, showing gratitude, bliss, and you do see the blessings in it. So, you know, after coming out of this energy of feeling hurt, loss, and all this other stuff, I guess it's just when you see things like this, right? How you guys view each other. It's like. I would be Pisces. You got a lot to say here. There's a lot. These words are very harsh compared to what I see over here for Scorpio. 
And I pulled three. All right, let's get into the reading. Let's see what this is. Scorpio, I feel like there is some personal growth with you. I feel like there is going to be and has been some personal victories, some successes. Um, these these victories, I don't know how loud you are about them. Um, in your opinion, they might be something that you care about, but maybe other people don't care about it, right? Like that. So I don't think Scorpio is celebrating out loud. I also see what there's something here. I don't know if it has to do with this, but something about a pregnancy. Some of you guys could be pregnant. <clears throat> Some of you guys could be pregnant in separation. All right. Um, I also see with that, though, there's going to be a lot of merriment, celebration. All right. With this accomplishment that you you've achieved or something like that. So we also see the Nine of Cups energy here. Now, um, now remind you, I want to remind you guys. Now I did point out the fact that I believe that this couple is separated. I do see this couple being separated. Hold on. Let me pull this Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So I feel like you guys are separated at the moment. But when I look at these cards, I see that you are waiting for somebody to text you, your Pisces. You're waiting for Pisces to call you. You're waiting for Pisces, right? So I see that there's some expectation of communication here with you guys. I feel like this is a big emotional risk for you, whatever this situation is. Um, I feel like it's a big risk for you guys. But I feel like when you do this, when you finally get a chance to talk to your Pisces, I feel like you guys... Um, I feel like there's going to be some relief in something, something like that, where you, I don't know if this is about closure for you, Scorpio. I don't know, because I see your energy is, this relationship is over. I see a lot of pondering, but I also see that you are anticipating hearing from Pisces who you're separated from, right? Now, I also want to point out too, that you guys have the Ace of Swords here. So we do see that there's going to be some kind of a lifestyle change. Something is going to change in your life that we see with the Ace of Swords. I feel like you guys are looking for some kind of a deeper recognition in the matter, right? So I don't know what's going on in this relationship here, but it's almost like Scorpio feels ignored. Scorpio feels like um, you're not taking my feelings seriously or something like that. And I believe that's why uh, Scorpio is thinking this might be a one-sided relationship. Or I feel like Scorpio could be thinking of, of all these scenarios and, un and start to understand that maybe this... You know, maybe I had a little bit more to do with this, the demise of this, than I am willing to let on. Because I still feel like Scorpio is holding back. No second chances. Da -da -da. So I'm trying to figure out if Scorpio, I don't know if you did something and you just say, hey, I'll try. I want to, I'll try. I want to, if, if they reach out to me, I'll try. If they want to talk to me, then I'll try. But you're like, relationship is over. So it's almost like it's hopeless, but in, in a sense, it's really not. But with the Ace of Swords here, I do see that you guys have these new thoughts, these new conflicts, all right? So these cards are saying that you have these new conflicts that you need to deal with, but this is while in separation. So, I mean, some of you guys could be dealing with how do I move on from being in a relationship to now I'm alone or something like that, or now I have to date other people or something like that, and I got to get back out there or something like that. So it's about what happens after all this is done. You know, when you go through a breakup or something like that, there's these new conflicts that come up. It's like, oh boy. I don't even know what, 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 what heels are they wearing now? I ain't been out because I've been hugged up with my man or whatever, my woman. I don't know what people are wearing. So new conflicts, what do I put on? You know what I mean? Just stuff like that. So it's just like, it's, it's kind of like the scenario like that. But when we go and we look at Pisces energy, you know, let's look at this. Now Pisces during this breakup has been really busy working. Like it looks like you've just been going in, all right, with the three of wands. So I see that you guys are working hard to consolidate business. I feel like some of you guys are in the midst of this right now. And in some, for some of you, I want to say that part of this working and clearing your debt and consolidating all this stuff really has to do with your own stability. See, the thing is with Pisces, I feel like there's a lot of dependency here. There's too much dependency and it could be on a spouse which could be your Scorpio or whatever happened here, all right? It could be you having too much dependence on family members, right? I lean on these people for my financial well-being. I lean on them for my financial well-being. So I feel like during this separation, I feel like Scorpio is uh, getting a new perspective about why things happened and also being faced with these new conflicts, right? Where we have Pisces, I don't want to say ignoring the situation, but really trying to just get themselves together. Like, there's certain circumstances here where the cards say with the Nine of Pentacles, there are certain circumstances that threw you into this. I'm assuming this has to be this breakup, right? So I see that some of you guys are trying to work your way out of it. I see that some of you guys have consolidated your debt. 
right? And I feel like some of you guys are choosing or need to be more mindful, choosing, trying to stop yourself, all right? If you guys are choosing to be impulsive, choosing to spend money, especially when you're on couches, I'm being real with it, okay? So there's some need here where you know that you need to not be impulsive. But I always, and I also see though, <clears throat> and I pointed this out, you just feel like your stability is shaky. Like I'm not 100%. I don't have all my basic whatevers. I don't have everything that I need. So I see you guys are trying to get yourselves together with that. Now, this cards, these cards talk about you guys coming into this new lifestyle, right? So with somebody waiting for a call and all this other stuff, I'm going to assume that you guys kind of want to get back together or kind of want to just see. Because remember, Scorpio is like, I'm going to try, but I know that you, you lied, you did this, you did that. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. This guy's, this talks about you guys having a new lifestyle. So there's something about free-spirited adventures. I kind of feel like with Pisces, it's just this, I don't want to say player energy, just I'm doing my own thing. Like I'm going here, I'm going there, I'm going to do what I want to do. I feel like that. But there are some Pisces that have been more extreme. Now, granted, I don't know how far away this breakup is. Let me see if I have anything here that would tell me. Um, Let's see. Okay, so what I do see is some of you guys could have been living over by the water somewhere. That could just be your tears. And I feel like some of you guys had to move away from that. I feel like I see... Some of you guys quit jobs. Some of you guys, like, completely changed everything. You're like, I'm going to take it. So you see where... This is the thing. After this breakup, you can just see the differences here. I mean, even with Scorpio. Scorpio's like... Um, I don't know. I don't know what to wear. And then we have Pisces. Listen, I'm gonna put on what I want. I got my, I got my biker clothes on. I'm going out on my motorcycle. I'm gonna turn my hair purple. I'm gonna live this free. I'm gonna do whatever I want. Right? So I see both people responding to this differently. But ultimately, there's the Page of Cups. And this is a common energy for both you guys. Now the Page of Cups talks about, hmm, new love. Possible rekindling. Some of you guys have new hobbies, new careers, because new volunteering somewhere it could be something like that. So there's something new going on for both you guys. Yeah. I also see, and I feel like there's a great possibility there could be some communication here because both you guys have decided to take an emotional risk. An emotional risk. An emotional risk. Let's see. What's going on in love for this couple? Hold on. What's going on in love for this couple? Ooh. All right. What's going on in love? I see the individual energy, but what's going on with love with the Page of Cups? Please tell me more about the Page of Cups. Tell me more. Hold on. I feel like I want to shuffle. Tell me more about the Page of Cups, please. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Ooh. Ooh. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction to chemistry to keep this relationship going. Oh my goodness. More. Religious factors. Ooh, we don't agree the same. Ooh, tell me more. I see a big age difference with this couple too. I don't know who's older or younger. Um, it may not just it may not be age, it could just be maturity. So I see some age differences. Unrequited. Ooh. Now, wait, tell me more. Attraction. Attraction, unrequited love. That one gets me. Unrequited love. There is not really. Um, okay, so this is my take. I'm not gonna say this for everybody. Give me one more so I can maybe I'm wrong. Hold on, let me see. I could be wrong. Hold on, let me see. Unrequited love, attraction. Wait, what's this one? Yep, religious factors, unrequited. <sighs> Let's see. Soulmate. Is it possible? Is it possible that both of you guys start talking to somebody else? Is that possible? Unrequited page of cups. New love. Unrequited love. Something up with this, this, this. Is this my soulmate? Hmm. Unrequited love, soulmate. I feel like, I feel like it's a possibility you guys could have started hanging out with other people and realized they're not the one. 
But unrequited love and religious factors soulmate. Some of you guys, some of you guys are like, this is not my soulmate. So you guys could be talking about each other, or you guys could each have the same feeling about a new person that you're like, this is not my soulmate. That's possible. Well, I want to see something. Let's see what else we can get out of this. Help me understand. I'm going to use these. Help me understand to see. Help me put this in perspective, please, because I'm not getting it. Oh, confusion. One-sided relationship, narcissist. Ooh, okay. Listen, Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio, what do you want to say to Pisces? Please help me understand what is going on here. Please help me understand what's going on. Ooh, okay, I'm going to take it. It fell. It fell up. Let's see. Everything will be all right. You'll see. We just need some time and space apart to focus on our goals and dreams. Mm -hmm. So Pisces is like, everything is going to be okay. You'll see. I, um, that's what Scorpio is saying to Pisces. I don't know that Pisces is buying it. Hold on. Pisces. Give me a response, please. Give me a response to Scorpio. What is what, what do you have to say to Scorpio? Please help me understand this. Help me understand your... What do you have to... I believe that we are destined to be together in this life. Our connection is special and has been blessed by the angels. Okay. Help me understand the common energy. Help me understand. Give me... Everything will be fine. It looks like you guys want to get back together. Blessed by the angels and space apart. So, yeah, I think you guys are definitely separated. But, Pisces, you believe there's still some hope with this. Mm -hmm. That's probably why you've been focusing on stability. I don't know. Wait, let's see. Common energy. Family and work responsibilities are weighing me down and I'm feeling overwhelmed. How can we make this work? This is my take on this. I feel like you guys, based on what I see, there's a possibility that you guys could reconnect and reconcile. I still feel with that, that based on what I see, there could be some imbalance. I'm feeling overwhelmed. How can we make this work? I'm asking you if we can have some more balance, right? So there's some things that need to be worked out. Unrequited love, religious factors. I still feel like, I still feel like you guys are questioning whether or not should we be together. Like, because we definitely see Pisces is like, oh yes, blessed by the angels. But I see some doubt here. For some reason, I feel doubt. Like Pisces is insisting on, even though we, do, even though we know. Uh. This one is, uh, I don't know, hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can pull something to help me understand. Give me, give me, give me, just tell me what we need to know. I'm going to try these. Just tell me what we need to know. Family and work responsibilities, I'm asking for balance. The connection is special. I'm not going to give up. Everything is all right, you'll see. We just need time and space. Okay, I feel like this might be a healthy time and space. I don't feel like it's a negative time and space. Love unconditional love, self-love and wholeness, affection and attraction, selflessness, unrequited love. Okay. I feel like this is all thought. I feel like all this is brainstorming. I think you guys, is this is something that goes over and over and over again in your head until you come up with this answer. So it's kind of like pros and cons, pros and cons. It's that. Do they love me? Do they not? That's what I see here because I see love all over the place. But I also see where there could have been some deception. But I also see where Pisces did not give up. Key on a ring. Many options. Unconventional one night stand. Oh, that what happened. Okay. String along. Interference. Date. <clears throat> Get back out there meeting someone new. Didn't I say that? But it's reversed. Let's, let's be clear. So there's still some, what do I do next? The unrequited love part, I'm going to stick with that. I say unrequited love is unrequited love because I feel like somebody or both of you guys didn't get the love that you wanted in a sense, right? And so you know how both of us fall in love with each other at different times? Like, I'm in love with you this week and you ain't feeling me that week. And then it goes on for a year and then now you're back in love with me and... I ain't feeling you because I went home. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you have, it feels like it's bouts like that. 
that maybe led to a separation. That's the best I can do, guys. That's all I have. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please, I don't even know what the name is. I have no idea. This is, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's Scorpio and Pisces. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. But usually, you, I don't know. Anyway, bye, guys.